to run the coding. Mm -hmm. We have most of it. Hypersound is, in a nutshell, directed audio. So directed audio, in a good analogy, is a, light, a traditional light bulb basically puts light out everywhere omnidirectionally and over distance the light gets dimmer. When you condense the light into a beam with a flashlight, the flashlight beam is brighter and the light goes further. And what we're able to do, we're actually able to do that same thing with audio where we put audio into a beam. We control uh, the audio into a beam and we can point it at a specific spot. And in doing so, the way it works is we're actually using ultrasound. So hypersound uses ultrasound, which is above the human audible range. And through our digital processor, we inject audio from the source. So whether that's you know, your, your home theater, your TV, whatever the case is, and we inject audible audio onto the ultrasound beam and we'd create audio in the air. So as opposed to creating audio at the source where it's a speaker, we're actually literally creating audio in the air next to your head. And the effect, when you hear it, when you're sitting in that beam of directed audio, it actually feels like you're wearing, almost feels like you're wearing like a 3D surround sound headset when you actually have nothing on your head at all. What we're looking at today is called Hypersound Glass, and this is a very early working prototype of our directed audio working off of a pane of glass, which is really cool because we're creating audio with glass, not with a traditional speaker. So, and what that really does is open the doors for future thinking about what could we do with this technology where we're using direct, directional audio based off of glass. And really, we can now kind of say, well, anywhere there's glass, there's now the potential to deliver audio that way which is a really neat thing to think about because you know, years down the line we can say like, oh hey, like we were the first ones to do this. This is why this matters. So think about, you know, again, this is very far down the line, but like your TV screen could literally be your speaker. Your phone screen could literally be your speaker. The dashboard glass in your car could literally deliver a message to the driver that without bothering anybody else in the car. There's lots of ways to think about why this is a, why this is a really cool technology. The glass-based hypersound products are, are, are years away because again, this is just an early working prototype that we brought for E3 because of how cool it is. We do have other prior hypersound products that are already available, both in the commercial space with regards to like retail and digital displays that use directed audio to drive consumer purchase intent, things like that. And then in addition, we also have our hearing healthcare product, which is the Hypersound Clear 500P, which uses a similar kind of ultrasound-based directional audio, but actually allows people, especially people living with hearing loss, to have a better TV listening experience, because we learned along the way that Hypersound actually lets people who are suffering from hearing loss hear the TV uh, audio better again without having to crank the audio way up. We were just really excited to bring Hypersound Glass to E3 because it's such a cool, interesting kind of development in just audio technology. It's one of the biggest leaps in audio technology in, in a long time. And, you know, the next, the first glass-based product is at the minimum a few years out. But again, we just really wanted to bring it here and show it and talk about it just because of how neat of a tech demo it is.